Today, we're eating 100 years of McDonald's, 100 years of prison food, yes! and 100 years of airplane food. Be sure to watch until the end because you won't believe some of the food we're about to try and some exclusive food from the future that hasn't come out yet. Starting with airplane food. The first ever meal served on a plane was in 1921 and it included a cold ham and cheese sandwich, a hard boiled egg, fruit, and water. Also, a plane ticket in the 1920s cost only $5. It's time to taste it. How is it? How is it? Mm. Wow. It's good, but why is everything cold? Because this is before they served warm food since there was no working outlets on planes and no way to use a microwave. There were also no seatbelts back then, so if you hit turbulence, this is probably what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just move on to the 1940s where flight attendants were first introduced to make flying more comfortable. Here you go. A sky meal in the 1940s was a filet mignon, green beans, brownies, and sparkling cider. And I'm going to eat the filet mignon for you eat all of it. Not only was the service better, planes themselves became way more comfortable and you could even nap on them too. Oh, Sean, here comes the airplane. Uh. Mm. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. <laughs> what do I have to do to join the Mao High Club? Just follow me to my cockpit. <laughs> Sir, the flight's landed. Is everything okay? <laughs> In the 1960s, airline food got even fancier. And that's because flying was more and more common. A typical meal was lobster, poached salmon, fruit pie, salad, and red wine. I call the salmon. What? You need to eat the salad, not the salmon. Mmm. Whoa. Mmm, it's tasty. Well, you know what else is tasty? You guys. Because why can't boys like this go and be on my plane? <laughs> Sheesh. Fruit pie, lobster, Wow. You know, before this, flying was only for the rich. However, this did cause problems because the rich didn't like flying with the poor. This is literally the best airplane food I've ever had. We'll get ready for the 1980s because food quality significantly dropped. The average meal served was spaghetti, mixed veggies, a cookie, and coke. Mm. Cookie is okay. This spaghetti is bad. Well, that's because the airlines cut costs and the food got a lot worse. This was also the decade that in flight entertainment became introduced. Did somebody say entertainment? Uh, Caleb, this is the entertainment we're talking about. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, I was. Wait, don't stop. Are you wanting Kayla to continue stripping? Oh. Oh. Also, during this decade, at the end of every flight, you could visit the cockpit and meet the pilot. Hey, Thompson! So, uh, what made you want to become a pilot? To uh, overcome my fear. Of heights? No. Dine alone. Let's just move on to the next decade. In the 2000s, they served nothing. But, most people would bring their own food on board, or they had to be okay with the snacks that the airline served which was pretzels. Hey, hey, you forgot our drinks. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Can we get something to drink? Yeah, coffee or tea? Coffee. Wrong, it's tea. What, what the, the hell are you doing, man? Ladies, hit my line. Baby, I've been thinking a lot lately that. Can't let it go to waste, right? Whoa! That's hot. You know, during this decade, you weren't allowed to visit the cockpit anymore. Actually, the pilot requested to see you. Really? Yeah, he insisted. I feel honored! Thanks, Captain! This is so cool! Is this the joystick you use to fly the plane? Nah, but I'm gonna use my joystick to fly you! Mama? Yeah! yeah. 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 What the hell's going on? What's this turn glitch? Uh. Let's get out of here before the plane goes down! In the 2020s, planes became even more accessible to everyone thanks to ultra budget airlines, which then they serve you chicken pasta, salad, and bread. But we're not gonna eat that. We're gonna eat the meal you get when you buy a first class ticket, which would be golden flake steak, golden brownies, salad, pastries, and a cheesecake. <gasps> oh! Here we go. You know what? Screw the fork. This is so delicate. Golden flake steak. You're eating gold? Mm. I feel like I'm about to poop out dollar bills after this. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh my god. Wow. Hey, I cannot get enough of this cheesecake. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. What the my do do? Honestly, this is the best food I've ever had. Hey, you've had a lot of food. <laughs> and after trying all the meals airplanes have to offer, it was finally time to try 100 years of prison food. What's up, cutie? Alex, they got you too? We always said we were gonna finish each other's sentences when we were younger. <laughs> hey, and this looks good. Let's dig in. You guys got a visitor. Al Capone? What'd you get arrested for? Staying up too late. But that's not illegal. They said I was resisting arrest. <laughs> no, but seriously, first degree murder. You know, in the 1920s, they considered lobsters bugs of the sea and only fed them to prisoners. They fed us trash because they thought we were trash. Time to eat. Ah! You know what? I actually don't want to eat this. I don't. We're nasty. That's it. If you're not going to eat the food, you're going to come with me. Wait, where are you taking us? To the 1940s. Where things in prison got a lot worse. So in the 1940s, an average prison meal was corned beef, chowder, salad, and milk. Eat up! It tastes like soft beef jerky. I'll, I'll be the judge of that. Oh wait, it does taste a little bit like beef jerky. You guys are eating good! We're about to eat good! Yeah! yeah. This is my favorite so far. That's mine, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was bad. I, I'm so sorry you guys have to eat this every day. You know, that's almost as bad as prisoners were treated in the 1940s. Yeah. A lot of people at the time became prison guards just so they could beat the prisoners. Which is why sometimes we did this! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Hey! 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 Now it's time for taste your own medicine! Hey yo, I got to leave this to my Our next prison meal is from the 1960s and it consisted of boiled chicken drumsticks with no seasoning, plain white rice, mashed potatoes, some juice, and overcooked vegetables. And before we dig in, we have Charles Manson here who's gonna eat this meal with us. Wait, what did you go to jail for? I'm a lady killer. Oh. No, like literally. <laughs> Shall we feast? You know what? If I'm eating chicken, it has to be fried. You sound like Alex. Wait, where is Alex? You're going nowhere. I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of me time. And now, we're joined by Jeffrey Dahmer. Hey guys. In the 1990s, they served neutral loaf, canned fruits, beans, and toast. You wanna try the fruit? I've never tried anything like this in my life. It tastes like a granola bar with meat inside. I eat this every day, but you're probably more tasty. Hey, I'm choking. I'm actually choking. Drink some of this fruit juice. I think I'm just gonna move on to the next decade. Uh, yeah, me too. Where am I? Relax. We're just gonna hang out, watch a movie, and take some pictures. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. oh. So now we're in 2024. Oh! Alan, are you okay? Yeah. Anyways, for modern day prison meals, inmates eat hamburgers, salad, water, and a baked potato. And we have an actual inmate who's gonna join us to eat our meal. Bach? I thought you'd be out of here by now. Prison is not so bad when you find your soulmate. Get over here, honey. Tanner? Is that you? You guys gotta get me the f out of here. Hey, hey, guess what? I'm Tanner's bitch. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm your bitch. Oh my gosh, honey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Daddy, sorry. You're so clearly forcing Tanner into this relationship. Tanner! Am I forcing you to do anything? Yes. See? Let's dig in. What are you waiting for? 
<laughs> Dang, this burger is hard. Oh my god, your teeth could fall out eating that. That's how hard you can get in prison, if you know what I mean. And what about for dessert? For dessert, we had honey bun. Well, you got to pay for the honey bun. With your honey bun. Looks like today, it's your honey bun. After barely escaping jail, it was finally time to move on to 100 years of McDonald's. Behind me is the world's oldest McDonald's that still serves the original menu from the 1950s. The first meal ever served in the 1950s was the original deluxe burger, shoestring french fries, and a classic vanilla shake. Can't wait to see how this tastes. I'm gonna try the hamburger. How was it? Wow. And this is actually how the menu looked at the time. And the burger only cost 25 cents and only 50 cents for the entire meal. But did you know that in the 1950s, Ronald McDonald wasn't the mascot. It was actually this guy, Speedy. They called it Speedy to symbolize how fast and efficient the food service was. It's finally time to try the milkshake. How was it? Dude, this is good. Well, let's see how the food looked like in the 1960s. Order for Ellen and Alex. This was also the decade when Ronald McDonald was introduced as the mascot. So in the 1960s they served hula burger, filet fish Big Mac, and cherry pie. That's a lot of food. By the way, this was also the year when the Big Mac was first introduced. Mm. Now we're going to try the hula burger and the filet fish It's just pineapples inside. Wait, what? There's no meat? Why the hell would they put just pineapple and sell that? Of course that would get discontinued. You guys going to finish that? Uh, no, you can actually have it. And the reason why we don't have our drinks yet is because Sonic was introduced in the 1960s and McDonald's had their workers also deliver their drinks and rollerblades to compete with Sonic. Oh, there's our drinks right now! I'll get you another drink right now. I'm so sorry. And that's why they stopped doing that. But now it's time to move on to the 1970s with Uber driver. Get in. I didn't order an Uber. Got one now. I'm good, bro. Thanks. Oh my fucking god! Get the hell in! Or wait, wait, wait. Want to help me look for my dog? I need help looking for my dog. In the 1970s, the McPizza was first introduced. Mm -hmm. The chopped beef steak sandwich with fries fried in beef oil and the triple ripple ice cream. Oh, I never knew McDonald's served pizza. All of this was only a dollar and twenty-five cents, by the way. Oh no way! Mm. It got discontinued because the pizza took way too long to make and it didn't fit the fast food theme. Yeah, because I would want my food now. But also during this decade, they introduced the first Happy Meal. All right, we're going to show you guys what's inside. The first toy that McDonald's introduced. Wait, is that Grimace from the Grimace Shake? Yes. Wait, why did it get discontinued? Because it would say inappropriate things like this. Did somebody order a pizza with extra sausage? Whoa! Whoa! Wait. Let me fill you up with my lunch. Right? Whoa! Hey! Hey! Whoa! Okay, okay, that was too much. Yeah. Let's see what was on the menu in the 1980s. In the 1980s, McDonald's introduced the McSpaghetti, McDLT, onion nuggets, and coffee all for the first time. What the heck is a McDLT? I think it's a burger you're supposed to put together yourself. Ooh. That crunch. And all of this was only $2.50. Wow, that's a pretty good deal. I'm gonna try the mixed spaghetti. And I'm gonna try the onion bites. Mm. Oh my god, spaghetti from McDonald's? It's the best thing ever. Mine wasn't bad, but I just feel like these things shouldn't belong on a McDonald's menu. Yeah, I agree. But did you guys know that McDonald's actually has a toy that's permanently banned? It's a McDonald's brass knuckle. Oh, I know what to do with this. This is what I call a McBeat down. That McBeatdown was an S tier. Ladies, there's plenty more where that came from. Ladies. In the 1990s, McDonald's introduced a seafood menu for the first time. The McLobster, McSoup, and the McLean lettuce wrap to reduce fat. Does it look like I go to McDonald's to eat healthy? Get down on my I'll face. just eat it. Okay. Ooh. Mm. This is good. Now it's time to try the McLobster. Ooh. Wait, is it healthy? Yeah, it's oh, get that out of my face then. Yeah. They discontinued the McLobster because it was actually too expensive. Wait, where's our drink? The McSoup. 
No, it's not. Shut up. Oh, Shut wait. Up. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. <laughs> but it tastes like carrot soup. Ew. I'm not trying that. But let's go ahead and move on to the next decade. In the 2000s, McDonald's introduced supersized options for the first time. <laughs> you can supersize anything you ordered to make it extra, extra big, like these fries, this burger, and this Sprite. They also served wings for the first time as well. Oh, no way. Oh, this supersized burger looks McTasty. Whoa, you're already supersized. Unless you want to get McFatter. <laughs> you don't have much room to talk. <laughs> Mac Tanner. <laughs> All right, we're going to try the McWings. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> you like it? Good. It is good. They should bring this back. Mm. 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 I'm going to take this to go. Oh, All right. okay. My never. I feel like we're missing something for the fries. Oh. <laughs> Super sized ketchup. That is the biggest bottle of ketchup I've ever seen. Oh, hey. <gasps> Dude, you're missing the food. A little bit more. There's so much more at the bottom usually. Ooh. 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 Okay, let's move on to the next decade. In 2010s, the McRib became very popular, along with Fish McBites, McNuggets, and the McFlurry. What the? Fish McBite? Ugh! If I bite into a chicken nugget and there's fish in it, someone's about to catch these Mick hands. And that's a Mick promise. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's like biting into a chocolate chip cookie and there's raisins inside instead. <laughs> now we're gonna try the McRib. All right. Mm. Oh my god. Dude, that's the best thing I've tasted ever. Really? Yeah. Let me have a bite. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, we gotta stop doing these food videos. Let's move on to the next decade. And okay. now for the McDonald's meal from the future. Wait, where is it? It's being delivered right now. How? Look up. Whoa! What is that? It's a McDonald's delivery drone that they're gonna have in the future. No way! Oh, and in case you guys are wondering what happened to Tanner, this is him in the future. Yeah, I really let myself go. <laughs> you guys are not gonna believe what we have. Check it out. <laughs> None of these have even been released yet, but we have the shrimp burger, the teriyaki burger, the spicy McCrispy sandwich, the black Angus beef, and the grimace ice cream. <laughs> let's try the teriyaki burger first. <laughs> All right. Let's look at that meat. Damn. All right, let's take a bite at the same time. Mm. Mm. I'm good. That's so good. Probably my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. Now we're gonna try the spicy McCrispy sandwich. Ooh. That's my food. Uh. Mm. That's some good chicken. Now let's try the black Angus beef. Oh yeah. Oh, beef crap. Amazing. Wait, this is Wagyu beef. All right, now I'm gonna try the shrimp burger. Mm. And now we're gonna try the Grimace ice cream. Oh yes. Mm. That's good. What is that? What flavor is that? What is this? I don't know. Oh my god. Not only does it taste good, but it also tastes healthy. Now we have to decide which decade was our favorite. Definitely this one. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Today, we're eating 100 years of school lunches from all around the world. We'll be traveling to and trying foods from countries like Russia, Mexico, France, Egypt, and many more to find out which country has the best school lunch, starting with America. So this is what a school lunch looks like in the US, and meanwhile, this is what a school lunch looks like in Japan. So the average school lunch might include sushi, sashimi, miso soup, pickled vegetables, and juice. But compared to 100 years ago, they served boiled fish, Fish and rice. Did somebody say food? Because I'm trying to have the time. Whoa, oh, save a little bit for us. Ooh, let's dig in. I have never seen a school lunch this healthy in my life before. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh good. I'm actually so happy we're doing this video. Because we're on a mission to find the best school lunch in the world. Fun fact, the average school lunch here costs 400 yen, which is roughly around three dollars. Alright guys, I think it's time to dig into the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna eat the sushi. And we're gonna try the salmon sashimi. You guys know this is my first time eating raw fish? This is actually our first time too. Taste test in three, two, one. <laughs> Stop recording! Oh. 
<laughs> okay, I really tried, but I can't eat anything cold. We love Japanese food, but just not when it's raw. <laughs> so not only is Japan famous for their sushi, but they're also famous for their samurai. And we're actually gonna go meet one right now. Excuse me? Sean? No, it's Lord Shogun. Did you use that to cut the sushi? No, but you're gonna use this to cut that. But I'm not strong enough to do that. Listen, child, the power comes from here, but only when it's tempered with this. You got this. Yeah! Oh! Sword cutting aside, what are we ranking Japan's school lunches? B. We're definitely gonna find some countries with better food. Next country. So we're in Mexico now, and a typical school lunch here is chips and guac, tacos, and enchiladas. An average school lunch cost 20 pesos, which is roughly one dollar. Let's try it out. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. And I'm gonna wash it all down with a spicy cacao beverage. Oh, has an extra kick to it. And in case you guys are wondering why there's a mariachi band behind us, that's because it's Tanner's birthday. Aww. And we need to <gasps> celebrate. And in Mexico, we celebrate birthdays like this. Um, we're gonna rank Mexico school lunch in A? A plus? That's better. Let's move on to the next country. An average school lunch in the UK consists of fish and chips and mushy peas. Before we dig in, a school lunch here costs three dollars. Jeez, that's expensive for just chicken tenders and fries. That's fish and chips. Well, at least it has a side of guac. That's also just mushy peas. Ugh. Ooh. Fries. Fries aren't bad. Wait, you guys look good. Why can't boys like this go to my school? Guacamole is actually pretty good. That's not guacamole, that's peas. <laughs> oh. oh, that's, so that's good? Yeah, that's good. Like that. yeah. Okay, but what do you think is better? The school lunch now or the school lunch 100 years ago? A meat pie. It's literally just pie with meat. <laughs> that that's a thing? No, look at it at all. <laughs> I think we're gonna stick with this. <laughs> okay, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that, Alex? Honestly, the fish looks pretty good, so let's try that. Ooh. Crunchy. This fish is definitely undercooked. Mm -hmm. Did somebody say undercooked? Well, I know how to fix that. Get out of the way. What? Incendio! What? Oh, shit! Lumos! Stop what I do! What? Fire extinguisher! Show! Guys, the food's ready. Uh, finally, it's cooked. Wait, Tanner, what are you doing? What? No food's going to waste here. Um, we're gonna put England on a C tier. Hopefully, the next country is better than this. As you can tell from the snow, we're now in Russia. And an average school lunch here consists of borscht, which is beef soup, broshki, which is stuffed pastries, and rye bread. We're so excited to try this that we even got someone who's actually from Russia to tell us if the school lunch is accurate or not. It's a очень вкусно. Where'd you learn that? You learn a lot of things in Russian prison. Kushi. Right. Let's dig in, Tanner. Give it up. Just like in Russia, this piroshki is amazing. Tanner's <laughs> already got a spy on his ass. <laughs> Let me heat it up. Hey, 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 hey. On top of all the snow here, they also have wild hogs roaming around everywhere. And also bears. We fight them with bears. <laughs> what? Shkoli, meet the cushion. Tanner, would you prefer this or the meal they had 100 years ago? 100 years ago, they had kasha. Which is basically porridge, right? Yes. And what they had to drink? Good old vodka. They would serve kids that? 
Yes! That's Russia! <laughs> you okay? In school, after we eat lunch, we make snow angels. <gasps> it's cold! Are you there a frostbite on my ass? Or there's something biting my ass? Steals my nose! Russia's school lunch was very interesting, so we're gonna rank it in A. That was my food! As you guys can tell, we're in China now. Xinyang Kuai Le. And a school lunch here consists of steamed buns, bok choy, eggs and tomatoes, and Chinese styled pork. Now, the reason why we're in a classroom and there's students sleeping behind us is because in China, you're actually allowed to eat lunch in a classroom and take a nap after. They should do that in every country. Another thing about China is they do family style lunches. Students can share with each other. I didn't know that we're from there and we've eaten school lunches in China before. And out of love, they feed food to each other. He's had too much love. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <sighs> You know, for all this food, it only costs five lemon beef, which is roughly around 75 cents. What? You know, all this food is putting me in a food coma, so I think we should all take a nap. Sean, what's that poking me? Chill, it's just my phone. Give me them bows. Hand me them bows. All jokes aside, China's definitely getting an S tier. So we're in France now, and an average school lunch here consists of snails, quiche Lorraine, a side salad, and a baguette. So France has one of the most expensive school lunches in the world. Seven euros. Which is roughly eight dollars. Honestly, this looks like something that belongs in a fancy restaurant. Quiche Lorraine? It's an egg pie. It's an egg pie? Yeah. Mm. Whoa! And a salad for the lady. Out of everything here, he eats a salad. <laughs> oh my, whoa! This thing is hard. It's bruising. It's literally bruising. What that mouth do though? Oh my god, wait, it's actually really hard. What that mouth do though? And now it's time to try the snail. So the correct way to eat it is take a toothpick, find the snail meat inside. It sounds nasty. Okay. Oh, I got something there. Oh, I got something. What the? Oh, it looks so slimy. Ah! Ah! I don't want to be here. I've never tried snail before, so I'm probably not going to try it now. Caleb? Not me. Alex? Me neither. Then who's going to try it? I will! What? Give me that! Ah! Ah! Oh, God! And 100 years ago, they had frog legs. Ooh, frog legs! Did someone say Jean de Grenouille? Give it up! Give it They might rank the school meal an S, but we're gonna give it a B. Let's go to the next country. So we're in Brazil now, and an average school lunch here would typically be a chicken wrap, quinoa, veggie sticks, and hummus. So all school lunches in Brazil are free. And on top of that, a lot of kids eat outside so that they can play football afterwards. Yeah. Tanner, what is that? Football. No, this is football. No, that's soccer. This is football. They literally only call it that in the US. Everywhere else around the world. Okay, guys, like this video if you call it soccer, and subscribe if you call it football. Ooh, Ooh, let's dig in. Excited. This rice looks healthy. This isn't rice, these are seeds. This is quinoa. Oh, yeah. this lettuce wrap looks good. Mm. This meal is like super healthy. But a hundred years ago, you want to know what they ate? Wait, what is that? Black bean stew with pork belly. Oh my god. Okay, now this all of a sudden looks good. <laughs> so because football is the most popular sport in Brazil, we're gonna be breaking a world record. So this is the world's farthest football trick shot at 140 feet. And I'm gonna try one at 145 feet. Oh! Oh! Yeah! 
World record aside, we'd rank Brazil school lunch an A. In India, an average school lunch is flatbread, rice, lentil stew, and vegetables. So India actually has the world's largest free lunch program, meaning school lunch is free there. Yeah, we love India! Woo! Let's dig in. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't that good? Mm. Wow. Check this out, a little life hack right here. Wow! Over the rice? Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Yeah. Now, would you guys prefer the school lunch now or the school lunch 100 years ago? So 100 years ago, they served chicken curry with yogurt. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that's really good. You're eating everything, Alex? So one of India's biggest holidays is Holly, and we're gonna go celebrate that right now. So a couple years ago, me and Alan celebrated Holly. Here are the pictures. Let's recreate it. Three. Two, two, one. one. Ah, <laughs> Alright, what do you guys think? Don't I look a little bit like Hulk? More like Shrek. Whoa. Okay, she's not coming to the next country with us. <laughs> On top of my glow up, I would put India in the A tier. In Italy, School lunches are borderline gourmet. They typically serve spaghetti, chicken parmesan, a salad, grapes, and garlic bread. Now this looks like it belongs in a five-star restaurant. Let's see if it tastes like one. Oh my god, the bread melts in my mouth. This is the best side salad I've ever had. Yeah, eat salad. <laughs> this is the only side salad I've ever had. To make this meal even more perfect, it only costs three euros. Why can't they serve these kind of school lunches in the US? The school lunch wasn't this good 100 years ago. Back then they served bread with olive oil, chickpeas, and wine. Dang, I also forgot Italy also has pizza and so many other more delicious dishes. Come on, let's go. Hmm? Let's go. This is my noodle. No, let's go. No. Come on. Come on. No. Come on. No. Wait, what, 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 what the hell is happening? Run! Stop! <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Did, did, did y'all just kiss? No! <laughs> you know the food is S tier when they're willing to kiss. <laughs> Let's just move on to the next country. For school lunches in Vietnam, they serve Vietnamese pho, which is noodles with broth, vegetables, and meat. So Vietnam is one of the only tropical places in the world that has snow. And we actually have someone who went to school in Vietnam to tell us the school lunch is accurate or not. So why are we squatting, Sean? Because people in Vietnam love to do the Asian squat while they eat. And would you say the pho duc bon is an accurate school lunch? No, it's called pho duc bèc, ăn cho đứt bự. How do you know Vietnamese if you're Mongolian? Huh? Mm, I'm excited to try this. It smells delicious. It comes with a bunch of different meat. I can't do this Asian squat for much longer, man. Hey, hey! You guys are lucky you gotta eat this every day for school lunch. No, this was once in a while. We usually go home and eat. Oh, well... Would you say this is an accurate school lunch from 100 years ago? For the most part. This is bun sao. What is that? Like, it's like a pancake. It's a Vietnamese pancake. Wow! It comes with shrimp. I'd go back 100 years to eat this. Mm. I remember when it snowed in school, we would have snowball fights. Three, two, one, go! Right, but what are we thinking of ranking Vietnam's school lunches? Vietnam's a B for the bao. Cho dit bự. Next country. In Pakistan, an average school lunch is chapli kebabs with eggs and rice. All of this only costs one dollar. All right, let's eat. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited. Ah, what the? Oh my god, dude. The meat melts in my mouth. Mm. Mm. I wish I could eat this every day. And the reason why our dog's here is because you can actually bring your dog to school in Pakistan. You just made that up. <laughs> yeah, I made that up so he could be in the scene. Now it's time to try the rice. Wow, even the rice tastes better. Time for the eggs. This is good. Wow. This is actually very different than what they served 100 years ago. Barley with lentil stew and flatbread. Shay! Honestly, this looks more like dog food. <laughs> and another fun fact is Pakistan is obsessed with cricket. Tanner, where's the cricket? Right here. We meant the sport. The sport cricket. You know, the one with the paddle. Now we're actually gonna play cricket. <laughs> Now that we 
we got that out of the way, we're gonna rank Pakistan A tier. Next country. In Spain, a typical school lunch is a rice dish with seafood and chicken. So school lunches in Spain cost 35 pounds per month, which is roughly around $38. Oh my God. That's expensive. No, per month. So it's like $1.50 oh. a day. There's some chicken right here. Ooh. Mm, that's good. It's like a little lemony. I think my favorite part is the rice. Oh, oh more wow! There's an oyster now. Woo! Oh, this thing tastes good. Wow! Oh, oh, oh! You know what you just say, Tanner? Some bull testicles. You had some balls in your mouth. Would you guys prefer the modern school lunch or the school lunch from a hundred years ago? Ooh. It's like a cheese platter with fruits and honey. Oh! Honey, oh, you got honey just makes everything taste better. Oh my god! Ew! Get that healthy stuff out of my face, dude. Oh. All right, it's time to try to clam, Tanner. <laughs> hey, oh, dude, hey, dude, hey, dude. hey, 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 Tanner, save some for us. Oh. Hey, stop, no. okay. stop. That's why stop. you're fat. I'm not fat. I'm big bone, and I'm losing weight. Oh. Your fat ass just moved the table. Yeah, you just ruined the school lunch. He may have ruined the school lunch for us, but we're still gonna rank it in S. In South Korea, a school lunch might include kimchi and bibimbap, which is mixed rice with eggs, vegetables, and beef. This looks good! Well, it's much different from what they were serving 100 years ago, which was soybean paste, kimchi, and multi-grain rice. Glad I'm not eating that. <laughs> Bro, I have actually never tried kimchi before. Let's go. It tastes like spicy cabbage. Wow! The average school lunch in Korea costs 4,000 won, which is around three dollars. I paid three dollars for that. This tastes so good it makes me just want. To... Oh! Oh! I'm gonna try kimchi with egg. Ready? Uh oh! 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 Uh oh!
a little spicy, but I like it. Oh my god. It is so good. There's so much flavor in each bite. But a hundred years ago, for school lunch, they only served coconut milk curry. Wait, that looks pretty good. Is it actually good? You know what the best part about Thailand is? Even though they have all this delicious food, in some schools, after you eat lunch, they make you exercise so you can stay healthy. And since Muay Thai kickboxing is a very popular thing there, that's what we're about to go do. We're all gonna make our best move. Woo, guys! Oh, yeah! Let's see What's the capital of Thailand? Bangkok. See what you got, Tanner. You got it, Tanner. Beat him up. Wait. Wait, what do I do again? Just make a move. Make a move. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. <laughs> all right, even after all that, Thailand's still getting an A. Next country. In Indonesia, an average school lunch consists of fried noodles with eggs, mixed vegetables with chicken, and a very special coffee. The school lunch here costs 8,000 rupiah, which according to my scientific calculations is around 50 cents. That's a heck of a deal. Let's dig in. Good deal is just to make the food taste even better. Hey, why do you have to eat the fork? fork? Ooh. What that mouth do mm, though? Oh, it's good though. <laughs> what that mouth do though? What that mouth do though? Mm. Look at that mouth. You need some help, Sean. Time to try the egg. egg. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Well, that egg was good. I'm starting to think that school lunches are better everywhere compared to the US. Oh yeah. But compared to 100 years ago, all they served was spicy, hard-boiled eggs. Ooh, those are good. This is actually one of the most expensive coffees in the world. But before you drink it, I have to tell you something. What? You promise to still drink it if I tell you? Yeah, I like coffee. It's cat poop coffee. Oh. <laughs> Actual cat poop? Yes. So this little guy eats the coffee beans, and then after he poops it out, the coffee beans are then taken and roasted into the coffee you're drinking right now. Yeah, and the reason why they do it is because it makes it less acidic and sweeter. I want to know who thought it was a good idea to pick up cat <laughs> and decide, I'm going to drink this. <laughs> yeah, who was the first person to do that? Sean? Ma? Three, two, one. Honest thoughts? I don't drink coffee, so I didn't like it. I don't think it's that bad. Am I weird for kind of liking it? I just prefer it without the cat poop. <laughs> but not me. Take me to the source. Okay, cat poop aside, we're all gonna put this in the A tier. Now let's move on to the next country. So now we're in Turkey, and a typical school lunch here consists of kebab with rice pilaf and tzatziki. Oh, I want this one. Wait, why is there only two? I thought we had three. I got it right here. What? Wait. Tanner, what is this? Turkey. You said you guys were eating turkey. No, we're eating school lunches from Turkey. Get that out of here, Tanner. <laughs> okay, then. Wait, this is good. <laughs> wow. Well, an interesting thing about Turkey is they offer free school lunches to students who have to travel a long distance to get to school and to those people who can't afford it. Oh, no. Oh, my Ooh. God, no. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Four second rule. Yeah. Bro. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, on three, what would we rank this? Three, two, one. B. B. Plus. Well, let's move on to the next country. So we're back in the US, and a modern school lunch here would be burgers, fries, cookies, and milk. Oh my god, the milk is frozen. This meat is 100% spoiled. We've been eating US school lunches our entire lives, so we don't need to finish this meal to know that it's going on the bottom of our tier list. But now, it's finally time for us to pick the best school lunch in the world. I'm gonna have to go with Italy. What? Why? The presentation of the food, along with how it tasted, and how healthy it was. I personally like China the most because of the portion you got, how tasty it was for me, and how you get the nap after you eat lunch. Today, we're eating only gas station food for 24 hours. There's also gonna be challenges throughout the day, and to make things interesting, the person who eats the most calories at the end of the 24 hours wins $10,000. Woo! Yeah! 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 
Wait, guys, where are you going? We still have to go to the gas station. What the fuck? Before we go to the gas station, we all wanted to see how much weight we would gain in the 24 hours. 246.9 pounds. Alexander? 248.7. What? All right, Alan, your turn. 177. Oh my god. 131.4. And Sean? 124.8 pounds? Sean, you gained four pounds for the last video. What have you been doing? So we're finally at the gas station, and we're gonna buy a bunch of food for the challenge. I used to eat these growing up, so you can't go wrong with these. Egg sandwich, ooh, some chicken rollers, hot dog, oh man. My strategy is, is I'm just gonna eat a lot of food with a lot of calories. So I just gotta find something to cook this ramen with? Oh, perfect. Woo! You already know! Ooh, Sean would love this. Wait, where is Sean? I've been here three times this week, and there's nothing to eat at the ass station. Wait, Sean, you know they said gas station, right? Huh? That'll be 9.51. Would you like the milk in a bag? Yes, please. So we just spent close to $1,000 at the gas station, and wait, isn't that Bach? Oh man, small world, huh? So we're finally back from the gas station. And guys, take a look at all the food here. We have chips, candy, donuts, noodles, fried chicken, and even fruit. And remember guys, the person who eats the most calories by the end of the 24 hours wins $10,000. Let's go! Wow. All right guys, let's dig in. Right. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, Sean, we didn't see you at the gas station. That's because I was at the ass station. I got a peach, cucumber, eggplant, banana, and whatever these two are. Wait, that's all you got? No, and, and I got a rhino pill, so I eat like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> I'ma win this challenge. But that's not what a rhino pill does. I actually have this food pack where I'm gonna combine a bunch of food together. And after you let the egg sit for 30 seconds, you add the tortilla on top. Flip the tortilla over. And now I'm gonna add my meat, as well as some mozzarella cheese. And now I'm gonna flip it in half, and flip it in half again. Now I have a breakfast burrito made with gas station food. I actually just completely lost my appetite, because I was reading some mean comments from my last YouTube video, and man, some of these comments really bring me down. Alex, don't let those comments get to you. You're bigger than that. A lot bigger. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. I hope you guys are all full because we're about to have a hot dog eating contest, and the person who eats the least amount of hot dogs has to go through a punishment. Five minutes go! Yeah. Yeah. Bye, hot dog. Second one! Third one! <laughs> Third one. <laughs> Two at once! <laughs> oh man! Four minutes remaining! Hot dog number six! I heard a secret technique that water helps put it down. Mmm. Nice and soggy. Oh! <laughs> Man, I don't want to eat my hot dog after that. Come on, Sean, I haven't seen you eat any. Watch this. <laughs> oh, shit. That went all the way down there. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it coming. <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to eat the most hot dogs. I just got to make sure I don't eat the least. Come, Come on. on! Let's go! Show it in your mouth! Come on! Get it down there! Come on! Speed round! Speed round! Speed round! Faster! 30 seconds left! Eight! 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 <laughs> Three! Two! One! Stop! Put down the dog! And the winner is Sean with 69 wieners! Woo! 69! But it's only the person who ate the least who will have to go through the punishment. Ooh! How many did I get? Two! You had 14 hot dogs. Yes! But Alan, you had 11 hot dogs. No! Alex, 15 hot dogs. Yeah, I'm safe! And Kat, with eight hot dogs eaten, that means you will have to go through the punishment of eating the world's spiciest chip. Yeah. Yeah. I'll eat it for you if you eat my hot dog. No. I'll eat the chip. Oh my God. I can smell it. Oh. 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 No. No, I need, I need some 
So we're back at home now, and Tanner actually fell in a food coma after the hot dog eating contest. And we have a spare hot dog here that we're gonna prank him with. Tanner. <laughs> 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 it's just a hot dog. So we're really full right now, and we're all gonna exercise a little bit to make room for some more gas station food. Wait, what do I do? Make a move. The first move? Yeah, you're first. Oh, 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 So we're actually hungry again after all that exercising, and now we're on our way back to the gas station and we're gonna grab a lot more food. One of my favorite foods is beef jerky. That'll be $8.89. Insert the chip. The chip? So we're on the way back from the gas station and- Wait, why do you have a gas tank? For your Tesla. Uh, but Hey, come on guys! I was just trying to help! We have the ultimate gas station feast. Mini tacos, pizza, sandwiches, beef jerkies, potato wedges, fried chicken, chips, and Slurpees to wash it all down. Yeah! Mmm, yeah. good food. Oh wait, do we have any napkins? Yeah, let me get you one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Food for thought, do twins ever realize that one of them is a mistake? Huh. Oh. Yeah, and whoever put the alphabet in alphabetical order. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, have you guys realized that every time you like the video, the like button gets smaller and bigger? Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And why do you gain two new subscribers every time you subscribe to someone? Yeah. Hey, you're right. Honestly, that's how we got to 15 million subscribers. Ooh, I think I'm gonna try that. Try it. Also, we're not eating a whole lot because we actually sent our editor, Mark, to the gas station to pick up more food for the next challenge. Hey, do you guys sell spicy chicken wings here? Yeah, we do, but you can't have animals in here. This is my fucking child. <sighs> because our editor is taking so long, we actually have Caleb here to help us finish some of the food. Do you need me to grab anything? Ketchup would be nice. Okay. How much uh, ketchup do you want? A lot. Got a lot. a lot of fries. Okay. Coming out. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just gonna have Mark pick me up. Talk about Mark. What is taking Mark so long? Just these wings? Uh, I still can't serve you if you don't have a shirt. What? You're lucky you get to see all this. After hours of waiting, it is now finally time for the Spicy Wings Challenge. Bring in the food! Yeah! Get the hell out of my way! Get out of line! Oh, 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 watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh, I landed on John's wiener. Ralph, have some gas station food. I think I need hospital food. We have two minutes to eat as many spicy wings as possible. The person who eats the least amount of wings has to go through a punishment. <laughs> oh, these are hot. Oh, no. oh. Oh. That's one. That is not one. <laughs> Happy. Some people eat their wings like this. This is actually one. One down. Oh, oh too hot. Two. That's my third one. No, it's not. You gotta eat the cartilage, too. Ugh. Two. Two wings. Seconds left. Three. Oh, oh my god. Two. Three. Three. Fifteen seconds. Oh, this is Four. 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 Three. Two. One. Mark. No. Oh. It's Tanner. Oh. Too hot. For your punishment, you're gonna be drinking the world's hottest hot sauce. Drink up. Oh my, that's a lot! That is a lot! Oh, oh, oh. oh god, that's, that's hot. Oh, oh! I used the
So we're all about to eat dinner, and we have a bunch of snacks and desserts that we're gonna try from the gas station. Why does this Twinkie taste kind of weird? That's because it's made of my I'm gonna show you guys this ice cream pack that I eat every night before I go to sleep. Cut the ice cream into three sections. Uh, uh. Hey, be careful! <laughs> you take this wrapper right here, place it on top of a cookie or a honey bun, stack the other honey bun on top. Now you have an ice cream honey bun sandwich. Oh my god, that is so good! That reminds me of a good hookup spot I had in high school, the janitor's closet. The first time I actually hooked up with someone, I got caught. Luckily, nothing happened to me. But the janitor, he got fired. Wow. No. <laughs> no. No. So Sean and Tanner are playing with their food right now, but we were reading some YouTube comments earlier, and we noticed that a lot of you guys want us to be doing dares again. So for the next video, we're gonna be doing 100 dares in 24 hours, so why don't you guys comment down some dares for us to do down below. And speaking of dares, we're gonna be doing one of those dares right now. All right, I gotta use the restroom. Right now, we're about to do the spicy noodle challenge. These were the spiciest noodles we could find at the gas station, and the last one of us to finish their bowl of noodles has to sleep overnight in a bathtub full of spicy noodles. Oh, oh, oh. Go! Oh. Go the mm -hmm. Wait, this is actually so <laughs> spicy. I'm gonna win because I'm using chopsticks. <laughs> so spicy as fuck. Mine's so spicy. Quit being wet! Ooh. I hate spicy food. I'm almost done. What? Mm -hmm. uh, oh. I'm like halfway done. This is bad. <laughs> Holy crap. Do we all have the same noodles? <laughs> oh, dude, I can't do this. I'm done. Oh. Keep it up. You don't want to be last. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, I finished it. Everyone slow down. I'm not trying to be last. I need like some cream or something. Oh, I'm done. Oh my god. Ah. Come on, Sean. You got three bites left. Come on, Sean. Come on. You want cheering for me? No, no. Ah. Go, 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 go. go. Oh. Everyone been down, let me see the frame real quick. All this gas station food's making me gassy. No, no, no! Ah! Time for your punishment! Hey, wait, 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 hey, my video, and I don't think the viewers would want to see me go through a punishment, right? I think we should leave this up to the ref. What do you think? Get in the bathtub! No! Tickling. Oh, what do you have to stay in here for? You better get comfortable. You'll have to be in here all night. Hey! Hey! So it's 3 a.m. right now, and me and Tanner are racking up a few extra calories while everyone's asleep. Yes, we are. So it's the end of the 24 hours, and before we find out who ate the most calories, we're gonna see how much weight everyone gained. Starting with Alex! Yeah. Oh my god, I don't know how you slept in that. Oh wait, I'm not stepping on that after you. Wait, take your socks off. Wait, I'm not taking off the socks. <laughs> Who's gonna take off my socks? I will! Oh no! <laughs> Step on the scale! Oh! Wait, so what? Oh, what, 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 what happened? That? What was that? 251 pounds, which means I gained a total of four pounds for eating for 24 hours. Oh Let's man. go! 252 pounds. Three and a half pounds. Woo! Yeah! Not as much as me. Shut up! Yeah! yeah. 128.3. That's three and a half pounds. Yeah. 135.8. Oh, what the? Wait, she gained five pounds. Now oh, Alex. Yeah. After carefully reviewing the footage and calculating everyone's calories, the person who ate the most calories was... Sean! What? Yeah! Oh, Sean. Oh. 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 Oh.